This thing is so sensitive, it'll actually sense me walking around the house. Look at this, just walking. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I have an anemometer for review. I needed it to check the speed of fans that I have to review because if I review a fan and you don't know I mean I could turn it on but you can't really see the speed or hear the speed or any of that you know what I mean it sounds kind of weird like if I turn on a fan I'm gonna say yeah it's great you know but you don't know how fast it is so I have three fans that I have reviewed in the past I'll have them up here if you want to see if you want to see these I have this one, I have that one, I have, I have three different fans here. I have another fan I have to review, that's the next video. But this is an anemometer, and we're going to check the speed of the fan with this. But we're, gonna, we're actually reviewing this, not the fan. I've already did the review of this fan. These are all camping fans, they all have lights on them, okay? So you can hang them, do what you need to do, have lights. But I'm curious on how well this works for speed. I mean, I have, I have nothing else to compare it to, but it's so sensitive, the thing is spinning right now, just from air in the area, and it's pretty wild on how sensitive this thing is, I just move it and the, the blades move, that's, it's like so sensitive, so um, we're going to check out this anemometer now, we're going to do, um, I'm going to record, so what's really unique, this does it does miles an hour, kilometers an hour. Um, let me go down the list here because it's different units. Miles per hour is what I'm on. It does meters per second, kilometers an hour, feet per minute of airflow, knots, and miles per hour. Okay, so they're very useful um, data for the fans. So I'm going to list each one of them on the screen. Uh, how fast this particular fan goes on low, medium, and high. So we're going to just check it out. It does have a backlight on it. One of the other cool thing, it does come with a lanyard as well, but what's really cool is that it does have a tripod mount on the bottom. Right? That's actually really nice. You can mount this someplace and check airspeed, like say in a tornado, or not tornado, but hurricane, or strong winds, whatever. You want to see what the wind speed is in the area. I find this pretty unique for that purpose. So you can mount it on a tripod, which is nice. So let's get to it. Let's check this thing out. So we're going to, this is set for uh, meters per second. Let me get uh, the camera ready here so you get to see it in real time, which is always fun. So, as you can see, nothing showing on the screen. So we hit one fan speed. I'm getting on low, one, uh, what is it, 1.8 meters per second. On medium, we're getting 2.8 meters a second. And on high, and on high, we're getting 3.0 or no matter where I put this, so 3.2, 3.4 meters a second. All right, so that's kind of cool. So, so let's put this in miles an hour. So it's pumping out 6.9 miles an hour. So that seems to be the typical speed, 6.9, miles an hour for, for actually that was 7.6. So a fully charged battery will obviously push out more. So that seems like the typical speed of, of, of these things, of these fans. So feet per minute, 600 and 
629. It's kind of cool. 629. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like it. So, so let's check out this. Let's check out this fan. I'm going to do the same thing now. This is variable. There's no set speeds. So let me just put it. Let me stand it up and do this instead and see if I can actually record. Hopefully, it won't get blown over. So let's turn it on low. Let's put this on miles an hour. So miles an hour is 5.1 on low. That's actually pretty fast for this. So let's crank it up to full speed. And there we go, 7.6. So that's the typical, seems like the typical speed for these fans. So 7.4, 7.6 for top speed, miles an hour. That's the output. And the wind chill factor is 68.2. That's what it's saying. So we'll shut that one off. And we'll go to the next fan. We'll see what this one does. And I'm thinking it's all going to be about the same. So let's put this here. Record. We'll go low. That's 4.7, 4.5 miles an hour on low. We'll go on medium. Medium shows 5.6 miles an hour. And high is 6.7. I'm trying to keep it in the same distance from, see it lowered? Because the distance makes a difference on how, how, how it's going to perform for speed wise. So this is 6.5 miles an hour. So this is actually a really cool tool. I like it. Um, it's definitely, I like it. <laughs> it's definitely going to get a, a, a definitely a five star rating. I got nothing else to compare it to. However, when I purchased this on my own, I did do it based off of Amazon's choice. And the ratings were really high and it's like four and a half stars in terms of rating. And um, I believe those ratings are true because this thing works really well. It's very sensitive. You cannot bunk this. This is not something, this is a piece of measuring equipment. You must take extreme care of this thing. No bunking, no dropping, none of that. It'll obviously damage and make it inefficient and probably not accurate any longer. So this is something you should def definitely take care of. No, like I said, don't drop it. So this is a great, great product. I'm really impressed with it. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. As always, I'll have a link in the description below to purchase this if you're interested. It's actually really inexpensive. It's not that exp it's not not overly. It's under fifty bucks. It's under forty bucks, as far as I thought, as far as I know. So I think I paid thirty-two dollars for it, whatever. But the model number is a is a BT meter BT one hundred. I'll have a link in the description below to purchase it. Take care, and we'll see you next time.